Hey guys, welcome back to Wixfix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Now in my last tutorial, I showed you guys how to create these custom team member pages using CMS and dynamic pages. But let's say one of your users don't have a LinkedIn profile. So there's no point in having a LinkedIn icon here on their page. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to hide elements like this LinkedIn icon if this user does not have a LinkedIn profile in the database. Now, if you have not seen my last tutorial, I suggest you pause this video, click the link in the description, watch that to learn more about CMS and dynamic pages, and then come back to this video. Also, I do want to mention that this video does have a little bit of code, which I will provide in the description below, so you can copy and paste it in. Then I'll also show you what elements you will actually need to change to make sure it works. Let's go ahead and get started. So if we look at my data set right here, we're gonna see two of my users do not have LinkedIn profiles. So we don't want the LinkedIn icon to show up on their pages. So what we need to do is make sure that we are on our team members dynamic page that we created in our last tutorial. And then the next thing we need to do is turn on dev mode. This will allow us to apply the code that we need for this. And then we're also gonna go ahead and change the name of these. So I changed the name to team data set. And then I also changed the name of this LinkedIn image to linked. So all you have to do to change the name is click it come over to this section right here and name it to whatever you want. So what I wanna go ahead and do is copy and paste the code right in between this section right here. Now you may see some stuff in here already, but don't worry about that. You can just go ahead and delete that. And we'll just go ahead and paste in the code from the description. And then the first thing you're gonna notice here on the left is all these red little bubbles telling us that something's not right because these aren't valid selectors which selectors are like these things that we named. So what we need to do is this one is a call to the data set. So if we come over to the data set, we're gonna see the name of this one is team data set. So what we need to do is change this one to team data set. And you're gonna see that red bubble disappear. So we need to do that for each one that says data set. Now these red bubbles are for the image element, which our image element is called linked. So what we need to do so make sure these say linked and you're going to notice these red bubbles are disappearing after we fix them and the last thing we need to change is this dot image right here so if we go into our data set and we go over to the item that we want to hide because two of the items just don't have it we're going to go ahead and click linkedin and then we're going to go to properties and then we need the field key so we're going to go ahead and copy this exit out of the database and this dot image, we need to make sure it's set to the field key we want to hide. So basically what this text is saying is that we are pulling data from the database. And then this part is saying that if item linked has something in it, then we show it. Otherwise, we collapse it and we hide it. So what collapse means is it's basically going to remove the space that this takes up. So everything like these are going to move up. And then what hide is, is obviously it's not gonna show. That way the user can't click on it. So now if we press Brad Pitt and press preview, we're gonna see he has a LinkedIn profile. But if we go to Emma Stone, who doesn't have a LinkedIn profile, there is no LinkedIn option to click. And that basically wraps it up for the tutorial. If you did find it useful, please press that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this in the future. Thank you guys again, and I'll see you all in the next one.